it's a four step process that we use. And the first step is paraphrase. So basically I'm just going to repeat back to them what they said in a questioning tone so I can elicit more information from them without having to figure out what question to ask. It goes this way, paraphrase, committed, signed, benefit. And it sounds like this, right. Barry, can I sell you your next perfect home? Oh, I've got an agent actually already. Oh, you have an agent? Got it. Are you committed to that agent? No, I mean, I don't, I don't think so. Okay. So I would stop the line of question there and I would go on with discovery if you say no. Typically what happens is you're either going to say yes or you're going to waffle. Waffle yeah. is like, oh, well, they're sending me emails or they seem like a nice person. That's the waffle. So okay. we'll do it one more time. Oh, you have an agent? Okay, great. Have you signed anything with that agent yet? No, I haven't signed anything yet. And uh, just out of curiosity, it, what's the benefit to working with that agent over any other agent in the market? Well, they seemed kind of nice. Okay, they were nice. Great. So now what I've discovered is so far, you're not super tied to them. You don't sound like you have any sort of emotional attachment to them. They right. didn't wow you. There's nothing fancy, nothing proprietary as to what's right. happened so far. Right. That's part of the point of asking the benefit. So at that point, then I'm either going to pitch you on working with me or I can just continue on with discovery, right? And see if you stop me again to say, oh, well, that's all great, Dale, but I do have somebody that I'm working with. So I just wanted to demonstrate the four steps that we go through in breaking this apart. The first thing that stands out to me about this is when they say they have an agent, instead of reacting and, and like retreating, you actually kind of pressed into it. I don't really like the phrase objection handling. I like objection understanding or understanding okay. objections because that's really what you did. You didn't try to handle it. You dug deep and you're asking questions about it. And I think if you guys just learn that, this will translate beyond the specific objection of I have an agent. It's it's global. Yeah, so absolutely. Anyway, yeah. 